Hello everyone, this is Glenn Chamberlain reporting from Montreal. So uh, I just finished a, uh, watching a really fun match, um, Ferris Tosuki versus Diego Elias. Um, it was very contentious, very high quality, and I'm just going to sort of give you a rundown of how the match went and my thoughts on the match. So right off the bat, uh, Tosuki got off to a strong start, and he hit a bunch of uh, cross-court nicks and a bunch of really good drop shots, and I felt that his overall length was the reason that he got ahead 5-1 before Diego managed to claw it back. However, um, I was really impressed with the mental strength of Diego Elias in that third game. He was down 7-4, and he came back. He just kept fighting. It was 11-7 to uh, Ferris, but I think it set the tone of the match. He didn't let the points go away, and that he just kept on fighting. And um, as a fan of Diego, I was really happy to see uh, his fitness level um, really not be an issue because... From what I've heard, it has been an issue before, and he really pushed through it well. So the first game went to Ferris Tosuki, 11-7. Second game, um, it's pretty even, going up to about 7-all. And then Ferris Tosuki just made four unforced errors, four unforced errors in a row to hand the game to Diego. So obviously, that's um, something you can't do as a squash player at his level. He's number nine in the world now, beating Nick Matthew, moving up the rankings in his Second Alguna semifinal, that's just a horrible statistic. And honestly, he could have come through 3-0 if he hadn't done that. Um, so at this point, Rain suspended the game. They had to go to traditional courts at the new Alguna facility, uh, not too far away, which is, uh, you know, it's a shame. Like, I, I know uh, Squash TV is a small organization, but um, I really wish they had uh, accounted for the Rain, maybe put like a... Um, get a, a threshold going so they can uh, keep playing even when it is raining. Because I know as a fan, seeing a match played out on a traditional court really isn't up to the same level as seeing it on the glass court. I think like the cameras being there just makes it so much higher quality. So that was a shame. So I watched the next two games on traditional court. Oof. Oh, that got, uh, got a little feisty on there. Um, I think mostly to Suki's fault. I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of his court craft, his, um, his sportsmanship. He has been getting better, but I feel like this game he just took a huge step in the wrong direction. He started blocking a lot. It's really obvious. And I think John Mazzarella did a fairly good job of, um, of calling him on his shit and getting him um, to try and open things up. But uh, it really messed with Diego. You know, he's a young player. He just turned 20, and I think that... He didn't really show good mental strength in dealing with that. And, of course, there was a very hostile crowd, too. The crowd was really booing. Like, they were booing Diego Elias after every point, almost, in the fourth game. And, um, you know, as a, as a young player, it's something that you have to learn how to deal with, and I don't think he did very well. So, uh, Diego, or sorry, uh, Ferris Tosuki ended up winning that game 3-1. Um, so, he took the match. And at the end, it got incredibly contentious. Um, at around 9 all, uh, first Asuki, you know, the little uh, soccer dive, uh, it's kind of bullshit, I wasn't too happy to see that, and uh, Diego Elias didn't help him up, sort of gave him a bad look, and there was definitely some pretty contentious chatting going on, and okay, so, like, obviously Diego Elias should have helped him up, um, but at the same time, like, what the fuck, Ferris, like, you can't do that, that's bullshit, right, it's bullshit. And I'm not happy to see that. Like, I love your game, dude. I love your game. I wouldn't cut off my left arm to play like that. But you can't You can't do that, man. It's not okay. And also, Diego, you're not winning yourself any points, any favors by um, not being the better man and dealing with your opponent's admitted bullshit. So that's sort of my message to you. And as a fan, I hope you guys are both playing great squash and continue to play great squash. Because um, this couch in Montreal is um, a great place to watch squash. And I hope to do some more videos for you guys. Thank you and follow me on my YouTube channel, Glenn Love Squash, on YouTube.